Texas set to fully reopen. On March 10th, the statewide mandates will disappear for bars, restaurants, grocery stores, and all other business owners. That includes the mask mandate. Governor Greg Abbott making that announcement today, some calling it a big mistake, including the county judge and the mayor, Mayor Ron Nuremberg, expressing concern over mixed messaging as the city and county continue to fight the coronavirus. COVID-19 vaccinations are happening, but only about 13% of Texans have received at least one dose of vaccine. Many in San Antonio continue to try and get on a list for their own dose. The mayor acknowledged a decline in coronavirus cases, but wasn't sold on the idea of lifting restrictions. You know, we've been through incredible challenges throughout this year. People have endured the unbelievable. People have lost their lives. And we're going to stop short of the goal. For what reason? I don't know. Meanwhile, the San Antonio Chamber of Commerce applauding the governor's order, saying it gives businesses, quote, the flexibility to make the decisions they feel are necessary to keep their employees, clients, and customers safe and their businesses flourishing. End quote. Business owners will be allowed to decide if customers will need to wear a mask while inside their facility. HEB says they have always followed state ordinances. So on March 10th, while masks won't be required for customers, they are still encouraged. Other business owners we spoke with have a mixed mixture of emotions that include fear, apprehension, pessimism following the governor's announcement. The night team's Patty Santos tells us they remain cautious of what could come next. We're not out of the woods yet as far as this virus is concerned. Bar owner Johnny Umal has mixed feelings about the reopening of all businesses across Texas starting March 10th. Even as his business has struggled to survive, he thinks the sudden 100% reopening without masks is too much too soon. So if goes you know, south again, they're going to blame us. Cautious is a very good word. That's the word Jody Bailey Newman, the friendly spot owner, says she's hearing from other bar owners who are left to figure out how to navigate a business without the protection of a state mask mandate. A lot of people in San Antonio were very cooperative with the masks, but the percentage that wasn't, um, it was very difficult on the staff and led to confrontations and stress and anxiety. She says each business owner will have to decide what safety protocols will stay in place in order for the business and their staff to literally survive. We have the right to refuse service to anyone. For us to survive, we have to be able to serve people. Heavy Metal Fitness Gym says they're going to carefully consider how to straddle safety and profit. I have mixed emotions for me. A a little bit of fear. I still have the responsibility of keeping my staff and the members as safe and as healthy as I can. Owners left in limbo for an entire year are now wary about the freedom they've been handed back. Just want people to be responsible, to be honest. You know, the virus is still out there. I'm very thankful we're able to operate and earn. However, uh, I don't want to get sick. I don't want my family to get sick, my staff or my members to get sick. And bar owners have shared stories about uh, how clients in the past were not willing to comply with the rules, with the safety protocols, and it can be pretty frustrating. So they ask customers to be kind, to be compliant, and to support local. Steve Isis, 